And if you sing it, why, we'll make a good sound. When Pete Seeger sang, he rarely sang alone. Well, you are the one that really knows this. Hey, Mom was all singing on that chorus. More than a folk music tradition, it was Seeger's life philosophy. Get people to sing together, and they'll act together too. A brief stint with the Communist Party got him blacklisted by the House of Un-American Activities Committee in the 1950s. This group of people are actually uh, their group, in my opinion, a group of American fascists. But their idea of America is America where everybody agrees with them. But in the blossoming youth culture of the 1960s, Seeger found new disciples. Do everything, turn, turn, turn. He shared his songs. His fight for civil rights and his anti-Vietnam War message with younger musicians, including Bob Dylan. As years went on, causes changed, but Seeger's passion didn't. Canadian guitar maker and folk musician Grit Laskin remembers getting a phone call from his idol one day. He was calling me because he wanted to record one of my songs and he wanted permission. And, but most of the call was talking about his then new push to clean up the Hudson River. In recent years, Seeger's environmental message became popular with younger musicians, like singer-songwriter Jeremy Fisher. I toured across North America on my bicycle and I did that as a statement of, about my values and I think that that was certainly inspired by the, the tradition that was, uh, you know, set forth by, by Pete Seeger. One more time! Sprightly, well into his 80s and 90s, Seeger pushed on, always willing to get up and sing for a cause he believed in, as long as he didn't have to sing alone. Deanna Sumanak. CBC News, Toronto.